Hi there and welcome to Through the Eyes of a Horse. I think as horse people, it's really important for us to understand how the horse perceives the world. So I'm going to do some short videos working through the senses of a horse so that we can understand how they're perceiving the world to help us form a better partnership with our horse. Our eyes work like a camera, but in animals, unlike a camera, it also involves the brain. The act of seeing involves cognitive processes that go on from the signals that are sent into the eye to the brain. And then the brain will actually tell us what in that image is it that requires our attention. If we can remember that the horse is a prey animal, it doesn't have to hunt for its food and its food stays pretty still. So you can understand then why their eyes have evolved to be much better at detecting potential threats and helping them survive. The horse has a really large eye. In fact, um, one of the largest of any land mammals. And this also has a large cornea and pupil which allow a lot of light to enter the horse's eye. In fact, if you compare with our eyes, their pupil is an oval shape rather than a spherical shape. And when it dilates, it gets six times larger than our pupil. But when it contracts, it goes into an elongated rectangle, which gives them great peripheral vision. And they have a really terrific view of the whole horizon. Our horse is also really good at detecting movement. And if you combine this with their huge view of the horizon, their ability to detect movement, is it any wonder that an unconfident horse can shy a lot? The horse's eyes are placed towards the side of their head and they can use their eyes either together in binocular vision or actually see things separately out of each eye, which is called monocular vision. Their ability to have this monocular vision with each eye and where the eye is placed is what gives them their superb field of vision. In fact, their field of vision is around 350 degrees. They have very few blind spots. One of their blind spots, as we know, is at the rear of the horse, but a slight tilt of the head gives them access to that blind spot. It has another blind spot extending forward from the nose at eye level and just below the nose. With this blind spot, you can see and maybe understand some of the horses need to move their head as they're approaching obstacles to either go over, under or around. It can also explain why sometimes when their head is in a vertical position and maybe on uneven ground that they're not so comfortable with their footing and have more of a desire to move their head around. Yes, horses can perceive depth. It's not as good as us, but from two meters away, they can perceive a depth of about nine centimeters. Yes, horses also see in color. They do see differently to us. As you can imagine, predators often camouflage into their environment. So the ability to detect motion was much more important than the ability to see all colors. It's probable that a horse sees a washed out version of colors, but they may also not be able to see red very well at all. Overall, the horse is a fantastic generalist when it comes to vision and particularly seeing in light. It can see better than us in bright light, but as well as a cat in dim light. One thing to be really aware of is that a horse in dim light can take up to 30 minutes to adapt. So they're quite, I guess, lazy at adapting to the dim light. So you can imagine how problematic this is when we go out from a bright sunny day into a dim indoor arena or cross those shadows where a horse needs to adjust from bright to dim light quickly. Horses have great acuity and this is the ability to see fine detail with clarity. Um, a human with normal acuity, we say, has 20-20 vision. Depending on the testings they've done on horses, horses range from 20-30 vision to 20-60 vision. Lastly, my take-homes for you. A horse needs to be able to see obstacles to go over, around or under them. So please allow your horse to have some vision. Be a little bit forgiving when you're going from an outdoor bright area into a dimly lit arena or somewhere that's bright to dark and allow your horse that time to adjust their vision. Remember, just because you can't see something doesn't mean your horse can't see something. So if it's frightened or scared, don't assume it's at nothing. And lastly, 
we can't assume that a horse's brain processes the signals coming from the eye in the same way as we do. So we cannot assume they're seeing what we see. Thank you. Any questions and comment on the bottom, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next ones. For more great tips, check out my Facebook page. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I've got an Instagram page with short videos and don't forget to visit my website www.kazadansequestrian.com.